Let's take a look at the structure of a skeletal muscle. Skeletal muscles cover the bony skeleton and their contraction causes voluntary movement. All skeletal muscles, uh, whether it's biceps brachii, triceps brachii, pectoralis major, that type of thing, they're encased with a very strong layer of connective tissue called the epimesium. Here you can see the epimesium covering the entire outside of the muscle. And notice how the epimesium extends beyond the end of the cells to fuse to the bone uh, as a tendon. And so a tendon is just an extension of the epimesium that goes past the cells and then anchors the muscle to a bone. Looking inside of the epimesium, you can see a bundle of uh, structures or, you know, these like kind of elongated circular structures. What these represent are fascicles. A fascicle is a bundle of cells. So instead of us, you know, seeing cells, individual cells here, what we're seeing are bundles of cells called a fascicle. Here they're pulling a fascicle out. And so this is one muscle fascicle. The fascicle is uh, grouped together by a layer of connective tissue called the paramecium. The paramecium is also dense, irregular connective tissue. And the paramecium groups muscle cells together into these bundles called fascicles. And it's also in between uh, the paramecium where you can see in this picture, blood vessels are going to be distributed through the uh, muscle and nerves are distributed through the paramecium too. Taking a look at the cross section of the muscle fascicle, we know that a muscle fascicle is a group of cells. And so here, each of these individual structures is a muscle cell. So these are individual muscle cells. Uh, they're pulling out a muscle cell. So we can take a closer look at the cell. A muscle cell is known as a muscle fiber. Okay, so a muscle cell and a muscle fiber are the same things. And you can see that the muscle cell looks very different from any other cell that we've looked at. But what you can't see is that each individual muscle cell is surrounded by a loose layer of connective tissue called the endomesium. So in summary, there are three layers of connective tissue present, the epimesium, covers the entire muscle, the paramecium bundles cells into groups called fascicles, and the endomesium surrounds each individual cell.